and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. I have several ripe ghost peppers on my plant, so it's time we put together some Belizean style hot sauce. This is made with carrots, sweet onions, insanely hot peppers, and a few other ingredients. Let's see what we're gonna need. You can see that there's not much to this sauce, and in fact, this is just one batch. In the fall, when I have a lot of peppers ripen, I make two or even three batches at a time, and it works great. So for each batch, you're gonna need one and a half cups of carrots, one medium sweet onion, five or six cloves of garlic, but because this was very small, I have probably eight, along with one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, three ounces each of white distilled vinegar and lime juice, and a quarter cup of honey. Now I am using three ghost peppers, and I've got two ripe habaneros, so I'm throwing these in too. We're gonna cook the carrots and onion and garlic on the stovetop in a little bit of water, and then the rest of this is going in the blender to puree until completely smooth. Now I am using my cheap ass blender and I will be using the carafe because that's all I've been using it for. Let's get over to the stove and start cooking. We're starting with our pan over medium heat. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of canola oil to this and then we're just sauteing our vegetables in here just to give them a little bit of fragrance first. Once these begin to soften, we'll add in about two cups of water because we need these completely soft so that they blend perfectly smooth. Okay, we do not want these to get brown. We just want them to be translucent and very fragrant before we add in the water. We're gonna bring this back to a gentle simmer and then we need to reduce this liquid until it's about four or five ounces. We don't want there to be too much liquid or the end sauce is just gonna to be too runny. We'll be taking off the stem and then cutting these in half and removing the seeds and most of the pith. And please, for the love of God, wear gloves. Oh my heavens, this is already burning my nose. <laughs> okay, then these are getting cut up. Now we're just cutting them up because it's easier on the blender. Wow, they have such a fruity aroma. Same thing with the habaneros. Sometimes this is easier to do with a spoon. These have a completely different aroma from these. They both smell deadly. We want to make sure the carrots and onions are very tender, so I'm just going to check this. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you can see how much this liquid has reduced. We're probably going to give it another two or three minutes, and then we'll take this over to the blender. We're adding in all the vegetables and all the liquid.
It's time to give this a taste. Now, normally I would eat this as a condiment on top of other things like tacos or enchiladas, but it's also delicious with a spoon. That's how I'm gonna give it a taste. The aroma is unbelievably good. I can smell the uh, lime and the vinegar. Oh my God. That heat, <laughs> it's intense and it's immediate. <laughs> Wonderful. Ugh. All right, how's that sound? Thanks for showing everyone his butt. He weighs 23 and a half pounds. He's seven pounds bigger than the dog. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.